Lesson 6-1 is about multiplying by powers of 10. Let's take a look at this example. 3 and 2 tenths times 10 to the 6th power. We need to remember that an exponent tells you how many times to multiply that the base number. So 10 to the 6th power is like multiplying 10 to itself six times. The exponent is six, so we had to multiply ten six different times. Ten times ten times ten times ten times ten times ten. Times ten. Now mathematicians decided that this got really old because this would take so, such a long time. You would have to do ten times ten, which is a hundred, then 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000, and so on and so on. You can see how this would take a long time whenever you had a problem like this. So mathematicians came up with a much easier pattern that they noticed that we can use when multiplying by powers of 10. It's super easy, and you guys are going to love it. So in order to do the trick, we first start by writing... 3.2 down. And since we are multiplying here, that means we are going to move the decimal over to the right. And how many times are you going to move that decimal? Well, that's what the exponent tells you. You're going to move the decimal six times to the right. So it's going to look something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the decimal is going to go way at the end right there. All those empty spaces get filled in with zeros. So my answer for 3.2 times 10 to the 6 is really 3,200,000. And that's it. That's my answer. You guys are going to love this trick. All right, let's try it again. So we have 4 and 53 hundredths times 10 to the second power this time. So again, step 1, write down my decimal, and I'm going to move to the right two times. 1, 2. So my answer is 453. The decimal, when it's at the end of your whole number, it, it's kind of imaginary. You can just ignore it. There's no other numbers behind it, so there's no reason to put it at the end. It just becomes a whole number, 453. If we moved it just once, it would have been 45 and 3 tenths, so that decimal would have had to go between the 5 and the 3. But in this case, it's just 453. Alright, that was super easy. Have fun doing it on your workbook page. Get it done.